six different conversations with different women. Authorities shattered Justin Ross Harris's image as a faithful husband and loving father, portraying him instead as a man yearning to be single and involved in online relationships. Justin Ross Harris used a messaging site to sext women on the day his son died in a hot SUV. He describes himself as a married man. And on the flirting website and smartphone app Scout, under the name RJ, are three profile photos. All appear to be Harris, just looking to talk. Message me. I'm harmless. Yes, I'm married. At her son's funeral, she said Ross is and was and will be, if we have more children, a wonderful father. Harris sent lewd text messages and explicit photos to multiple women. An alternative lifestyle. He's got this whole second life that he's living with alternate personalities and alternate personas. He said he loved his son all the time. He said it was. He said his son was very important to him. It shows that he was unhappy with his life. That's more evidence that he wanted a change in his life. This was his joy. This was his pride. He was very proud to be Cooper's daddy. The dichotomy of the public Justin Ross Harris and the private Justin Ross Harris, we dig deep. And boy, what we find. Straight to Kyle Peltz, our producer. Kyle, what did you learn? Nancy, we combed the internet today and found that this guy was all over social wait, media. Wait, 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 wait. What is a selfie with the urinal in the background? Did you find that? Yeah, he was on a social media a dating site called Scout. He was posting pictures of selfies in front of a urinal. He has a Flickr account as well, which is a so, uh, photo site on social media. He's posting even more bathroom selfies. Um, on I Flickr. notice he cuts his wife out of the pictures and, his, and the things he posts online. But we noticed that he was posting um, a lot on a site called Reddit, Nancy, less than 24 hours before leaving his baby in a car to die. He was passing time complaining about restaurants raising their prices. And he has a lot to say about abortion, telling the online world, in his words, that sex is scientifically designed for one thing, and that's to reproduce. Does it feel good? Yes, but that's just a side effect. And if you can't support children, don't have sex, don't have abortions. Those are his words. And this is along with tons of other posts, as well as other accounts on sites like Pinterest and Flickr. Okay, what I don't understand, and here's a guy that's sexting and trying to hook up with six different women, sending photos of his naked penis, and he's telling women he doesn't believe in abortion while he's uh, soliciting casual sex. I'm not getting into abortion good, bad, but what I'm saying is it's pretty ironic for him to be posting all of his theories that are anti-abortion while he's the one out trying to have casual sex, uh, sending photos of his penis to a, a teenager. You mentioned something about a scout account where he says, I'm harmless. Yeah, he had a scout account. He says um, on, on his account that he's harmless. He says he's married. And this is where he's posting all of these photos um, in the bathroom, the urinal selfies, as well as multiple photos of himself.